I'm coming at you today with a challenge. I am going to challenge myself to the Holly Dogs 30 Day at Home Workouts Quarantine Challenge. I want to see what I can do with it. She's a YouTuber who um, put out this challenge. So every day she puts out a new workout and um, they're about 10 to, or to 12 minutes long, maybe even shorter. So I decided that I have like eight to 10 to 12 minutes out of my day to do a little bit of a workout. Plus I am also like engaged, so I will be getting married soon. And I uh, don't wanna look the way I look right now. So we're gonna change that <laughs> or we're gonna try and change that. I have never been very good at losing weight at all. So every day that we're gonna do this challenge, I'm gonna cross off a day on the calendar and then I'm also going to show you guys a little clip of what I did for that day or um, something like that. We'll see what happens. Well, today is April 7th and it marks my first day of the Holly Dulks workout challenge. Her or her quarantine challenge as she called it on her YouTube. I like can't catch my, my breath, my nose, my breath, but day one, done. <sighs> Let's keep this going. Like my top of my shoulder is in my hand. But I think that was pretty simple. I went by really fast. I mean, no. No excuses, guys. None. None was that. It's great. We're just gonna keep going. Day two, done. Go day four. Day five. And I hate burpees. I hate burpees. My body doesn't want to do burpees. <sighs> so hard. But day five. Day six. <laughs> I'm sore from day five. My butt hurts so bad. <laughs> but here I go, day six. Then, this is Yatsia coming to you with day nine. Woo, woo, day nine. Woo, woo, day nine. I got this. Oh, oh. Dude, it's getting easier and easier to like sit down and actually do the workouts because at first I was like I'm gonna do this and then like day three I was like no. why why so but now I think I'm getting into a routine where it's just like it's part of my day and that's it like there's no ifs ands or buts and it's getting way easier so here's to day nine it's day 11 and it is a gloomy day outside it's snowing in April, yay. And it made it a lot harder to get up and like, come through this, but it's day 11 and let's just get it. Let's just, let's just get this. 12, done. <laughs> Take two. Okay. Day 14 done, it was meditation. And I'm not too sure if I can do meditation. It's kind of hard to like clear your mind and like focus only on your breath. Like then my back started hurting. Then my nose itched. Then my ear itched. Then, then I needed to move because the position I wasn't wasn't good enough. Uh, I don't know. It was just really hard for me. Um, but it's time. Time to mark it off the calendar. My shaky hand.
Day 16 done. It was a hit cardio workout and it really killed me. Going into like courtesy lunges right after doing like jumping squats, it was like, ah, oh, death. But you know what? It's starting to be worth it and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing it. Because I I wanna be a better person. I wanna be a better me. And this is how it's gonna be. I have to work out at least for 10 to 20 minutes a day. I have to. It's just gonna have to be part of my lifestyle and that's what it's gonna be. So let's mark out that day. The day I decided that it was all worth it and that I can do it and I can be better. All right guys. See you tomorrow. Pilates is hard. My butt feels like it's gonna explode. Day 18, done. Day 23 done, got my legs all toned and beautiful. And Woo! Five more days! Day 26 done! Yeah! Woo! Day 28, we're doing some meditation. Last time wasn't that great of an experience with me. I'm not very good at clearing my mind have things running through it but we're gonna try it again and we'll see how it goes day 28 all done it actually turned out to be okay i mean i don't know if i'm 100 percent into it but it came out okay Let's do this booty workout. Yeah. That's it. It's done. I did it. 30 days down the river. And uh, now my butt is going to hurt tomorrow. Let's be honest. It's going to hurt. That's fine. That's fine. Let's mark it up. been the 30 days and a week since I finished oh well, actually it's been a week since I finished my challenge and I loved it it was great I did the Holly Duff 30 day workout challenge for 30 days obviously and I marked off every single day that I did it to help me stay motivated to do it and I loved it it was literally eight to 10 minute workouts every day. It was fantastic. She did different types of things. Um, I learned that I actually might like meditation. It is okay. Like it's hard to get into when you're sitting there, you know, in silence humming and it, it's really hard to get into, but it kind of does work. It really does relax you and it gives you a little time to like, just be yourself. Um, I like yoga now. I didn't particularly like yoga before. I don't particularly think that I am flexible in any kind of way, but you don't have to be to do it. It's so relaxing and it's a really nice thing to do after like your five days of workout. So um, she did a lot of Pilates. We did a nice core exercises, booty workouts like no other. My booty was aching for like days after I would do a booty workout and it hurt to like just sit down. So it was a great experience and I will probably do it again, the same challenge, maybe add a couple more things or take one of the videos that she had um, one of the Pilates days and like add it to a different workout that I'll be doing for that day. I really liked all of it.
Coco, what are you doing? <laughs> I in total lost five pounds in a month. I know that's not a lot, but I didn't do a lot. I ate the same that I normally ate. I didn't really change my diet and I did the workout every day and I lost five pounds. I feel like that's an accomplishment for me because I don't just lose pounds like that. And I, I loved it. it. I would totally recommend it for someone to start off with. I definitely think it's gonna kick mark or kickstart me to do more workouts on a daily basis. If you guys have any challenges that you are interested in seeing the before and after results, definitely, definitely link them down below or let me or let, leave the name down below and I will check into them and see if I'll do it. Um, yeah, so I did it. I lost five pounds. I do think this following week I'm going to start something new or even just start from the beginning on this again to get myself back into that rhythm of making sure that I have at least 10 to 15 minutes a day to focus on myself and like working out and my health. I will definitely put add more work effort into it, I feel like. That's very important for this. Um, I do have a wedding coming up, so I am trying, or not really coming up, but in the works. I have a wedding in the works, and I really want to lose a couple pounds before finding my dress and trying to maintain. And I will definitely bring you guys along for that journey as well. There are a couple things that I wish I did different throughout this whole month. I wish that I did follow a diet, at least to see if that would help with um, me losing even more weight than what I did. Um, but I also know that personally, I'm not really good at dieting. I definitely want my donut when I want my donut. It's, it's, it's pretty bad actually. And that was a car in the background, but that's fine. Um, I do think though, if you did follow a diet with this, you would definitely see more results than I did. So if you liked this type of video, please let me know by leaving and clicking that like button. And if you guys want to see more videos, please hit that notification bell and subscribe. I'll see you guys. Oh my God, all the cars. And subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Bye.